Hey everybody, Ju Wario here. I'm in Denver to uh, celebrate this uh, Dragon Quest map trade thing. So let's find out what this is all about, shall we? Come on. I started playing it from the beginning on the NES, and honestly, all I've seen from them is improvements. It's like I liked how they did the. They basically kind of took some things from Squares, like Final Fantasy, how Final Fantasy V had the chance to change your drop classes mm -hmm. mid game. Didn't have to restart the levels, of course, but I mean. <laughs> It's it's definitely something new for Dragon Quest. I definitely like that. But the game still holds the classic feel of Dragon Quest, which throughout the series I think it's always had that kind of same uh, turn-based RPG, old-school action. Uh, I enjoy that a lot immensely ever since Dragon Warrior 1. And the multiplayer along with the entire story, you can start from the second you can start multiplayer and play it to the very end of the game. I think that's pretty sweet. Yeah. But um, I haven't found very many things I have disliked about the game. I mean, it's a long grind, but I already knew that, so mm -hmm. it's not it's a surprise or anything. But yeah, I've had a lot of fun with the game. This is finally a game that I wanted to get a DS for. I mean, the Final Fantasy IV re-release was close, but then I saw some previews and like, what <laughs> did you do to my game? <laughs> I think it's great. Uh, it's a little bit easier than previous Dragon Quests have been uh, because um, there's just so many you know different places to level up and so many reasons to level up. Mm -hmm. So you get a little bit more powerful, a little bit more quickly in this one, I think. But I mean, this is a classic series. You know, you, you can't you can't mess up Dragon Quest. It's it's <laughs> just it's just great. There's enough character classes that it seems like no matter what, you always have a really unique mix of people. Mm -hmm. And, and unlocking stuff. Yeah. So, and it's one of the longest running series uh, in you know gaming history too. So to have it still going strong is just really great. And they have multiplayer finally. <laughs> yes. It was pretty fun. Uh, got to meet a lot of nice people. Traded. Got uh, some maps. All good fun. I like this system. I really do. Uh, it was a couple things. First of all, it was like, ooh, I get a map because I'm not there yet in the game. So I get a map for free without actually having to get that. Of course, it's going to be one of these super secret maps where everything's going to kill me instantly. But then there's the fact that I get to meet a lot of people that I didn't realize uh, played this game. You know, it's that, that's kind of cool too. And, uh, it, and the fact that I didn't realize that I get to talk to a person and get a map from them is also cool. So I thought this was, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice idea. Um, I well, the event is basically just got a bunch of guys playing the multiplayer. But I mean, I haven't checked out the new map yet because if I try it right now, I get slaughtered. Because uh, the highest guy that we had here got to the final guy and said he was having a hard time with it. So yeah, I'll be able to figure out what exactly I think of it when I get a high enough level. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty cool. So I get to meet uh, some new people uh, and to see that you know there is some sort of a Dragon Quest presence here in Colorado. You know, sometimes I worry about that. It's like, wow, nobody's here to buy the game today. That's sad. <laughs> so, but um, but it's really good to uh, see the gamers coming out and uh, you know meeting face to face and actually interacting uh, away from the computer screens, away from the, the net connections, and actually getting uh, getting to know one another. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I mean, I thought it was great. Met a bunch of new people. Probably gonna check out the next one. Whatever else is near here. He's it was pretty cool. Not as many people as I was hoping, um, but uh, it, was, it was pretty cool. It's probably one of the very few times I've played DS with strangers outside of E3 or PAX or something like that. So uh, it was nice to come here. I picked up six or six or seven people on tag mode, and we played a multiplayer quest, and I uh, got some help on a boss from everyone else. It's pretty cool. You don't own the game. Yeah, I don't. But you came to the event. Yeah, it was it was a two for one thing. Learn how to play Dragon Quest Nine. Meet you, Oreo. <laughs> so, what do you think of the game? Having seen it played and, and the trading. Of it? 
Well, what I think is, I think the game is really cool. It seems like um, in single player you actually get to make your whole team, right? And then in multiplayer you go in and you have like a bunch of people, and they keep the whole turn-based thing while still managing to keep it workable. I was really surprised that it actually like works. Like you run in, and then somebody's in trouble, and you go help them out. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. It's a very good workaround for you know the differences between Japanese and American culture and geography. So I appreciate that. Uh, I wish they had done it at more stores because the, I, I couldn't do it at the GameStop that was nearest to me so I had to drive a while uh, to get to this one. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really know why they couldn't have done it at all of them. It's, it's a little odd to me but I, I do appreciate the planning and uh, I hope they'll continue to do it. Would, will you be getting the game and then going to another one of these events? We got yeah. I guess two more this, this year? Yeah, 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 the next one that I see I will totally be there. We will team up to battle evil. Yes. Team up to team battle work. the evil. 